Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer and I am back in Ready or Not. This time we're having a look at how to install the awesome visual rework realistic Ready or Not reshade preset. This visual rework delivers a darker tone and adds several graphical improvements to the game, which are things like rebalanced colors. It decreases the vanilla fog that covers everything. Sharper details. The map just looks so much more crisp and a few other things. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Hit that notification bell, smash the like button. And of course, if you have any issues, comment below and I'll try and answer them. Right, let's get on with this install guide. So of course, as always, a link in the description. This is on Nexus Mods. Here it is, the visual rework, realistic, Ron reshade preset. A bit of information about it. So as you can see, rebounds colors, white phosphor night vision. There's like an overlay on there. There is a full readme file in here and a bit of a tutorial video, but the tutorial video is not for ready or not. And it's a little bit too long for my liking. So I thought I'd do one anyway. So. To download the file, you want to head up to the top here and click files and you download this here. Just click manual download and that will bring this box up. Now you may notice the mod is telling you to download something first. Yes, we need to do that. So you need to download something called reshade. Click on that link and that'll take you to the reshade website. Click download. While that's downloaded, then click download there and that will install this rework, visual rework file as well. Right, first thing we need to do is set up Reshade. Right guys, so Reshade is now open. What I want you to do is click here, select the game and manage its Reshade installation. It'll show a list of things and games you have on your computer. Go down to where it says Browse. Once you're in Browse, you want to head to Steam Apps common, ready or not, ready or not, binaries, win64. Once you're in there, you should see ready or not, win64, shipping.exe. I'll leave that on the screen for a second. If you're not sure where your ready or not folder is, you just need to head into Steam, get ready or not up. So you can just go to your library and then search for it. Right click, go to manage and go to browse local files. And then this will come up and you'll be able to see roughly where your folder is. Usually it's going to be an E or something on them lines. And once you know where your folder is, just head back into Reshade, click on there, then click open. You can double click or click open. It's up to you. It will then ask you what API rendering does it use? Basically, just select Direct 3D and then click on it like that. Once this screen is up, I want you to go down the bottom select uncheck all and then check all it's just the easiest way to get them all selected but i do want you to remove one of them if you look down the list you will see one called fubax shaders by fubax the reason for that is it's just not a very good shader pack so you might as well just not bother installing it once you've done that then click ok that will then install, download all the shaders. It'll take around about two or three minutes, not long at all. Once it's done, you'll see this little box pop up. That means it's installed. Don't bother clicking edit reshade settings. Just leave it as it is. And the next step is you need to open your ready or not folder, Win64. So it's ready or not, ready or not, binaries, Win64, just where you were looking before. You need your download. I have a ready or not downloads mod folder and it is the Ron visual rework. Click on there. That'll get your seven zip up, win zip, win raw, whatever you're using. Go into it and you're looking for this V3 folder. Open it up and you're clicking and dragging or extracting the whatever you're doing, everything that's in there, not the folder itself, what's inside of it. So all you do is click and drag. It's why I love seven zip. It might ask you to replace existing items. I've already got like that. Just click yes. And that's all you need to do. Next up, we're going to open up ready or not. Now yours will look a little bit different to mine because I'm already running the visual mod. If nothing shows up, press the home key. Okay, but you'll see something that looks a little bit like this. It will ask you to do a tutorial, click tutorial, and then skip tutorial. Once you're in here, this box here, 
So it's between like, what, home and search bar. Click on that and select run visual rework 03.ini. Click select. Yours will then change to this screen here. There is an overlay in the game, which you can see just behind me. So if I just click home there, can you see kind of this like... Yeah, it's kind of like for night vision or something like that. If you want to remove that, just click overlay and there you go, it's gone. Simple as that. So home key brings up and down. You can mess around with the settings yourself. There is other things to add in. As you can see, there's absolutely loads. You can change all this. That is way too complex for me. But anyways, you can play around with it. But yeah, guys, that's what you need to do. And you'll have a better looking ready or not experience. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.